Hi guys, my name is Rock and I spent last 8 years traveling around Europe as a tour guide. I was recently in Salzburg, the most expensive city in Austria and I want to share with you my travel costs and the latest prices to help you budget your visit. It's true that due to pandemic some prices have dropped, but for how much? Stick till the end where we'll look at how expensive is Salzburg on a scale of 1 to 10. Salzburg is a small city with about 150,000 inhabitants, but it is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Austria. Salzburg was always among the richest cities in Europe, as for more than 1,000 years it was an independent principality that got rich with salt mining. In 19th century, Salzburg lost its independence when, like most of Europe, it was conquered by Napoleon. After Napoleon's defeat in 1815, Salzburg became part of Austria. Today, Austria is among the richest countries in the world and Salzburg is its richest province. Salzburg attracted over 9 million tourists per year and authorities were planning to limit the number of tourists when global pandemic changed everything. To help tourists cope with high Salzburg prices, Salzburg Cart was introduced and later we'll look at how good of a deal it actually is. But first, you need a place to stay and that can be pricey. Before the pandemic it was not unusual to look for accommodation outside of Salzburg. Now prices have become more affordable, although they are still far from cheap. Accommodation prices vary on the season, as they peak in July and August and in December with Christmas markets. I will focus on high season summer prices. Wide range of Airbnbs, hostels, homestays and other types of accommodation are available as cheap hotel rooms start at 50 euro and range to well over 1000 euro for luxury castle rooms. I even found accommodation in a camper vans parked on someone's driveway. Speaking of camper vans, on the outskirts of Salzburg are campgrounds with beautiful alpine surroundings. Prices for a camper van with two people vary from 22 to 41 euro. For single travelers, youth hostel remains to be the most economic option as single bed in mixed dorm is between 23 to 52 euro. There is quite a price difference if you book a hotel room for a weekend or during a week. Standard hotel room for two in three star hotel will cost between 58 and 162 euro during the week and will rise between 96 and 226 euro during a weekend. 4 star hotel will be between 92 and 218 euro during a week and will rise between 96 and 332 euro during a weekend. A decent Airbnb apartment in the high season in historic town or its proximity will cost you from 125 to 200 euro per night. But if you're flexible enough and you don't care about location, you can also find deals going as low as 80 euro. Once you have your accommodation sorted out, you need to find ways to get around Salzburg. Main means of transport are buses and taxis. Uber is available, but it's not widely used. Salzburg airport is only about 5 kilometers or 3 miles from the historic city center and the best way to get to the city is taking a bus that departs every 10 minutes and costs 2.5 euro. Taxi tariffs are set by the city and are controlled by taxi meters. Taxi from the airport to the city center should be around 15 euro and should take about 10 minutes. Buses are the most economic way to get to the old town, but getting a bus ticket can be a bit confusing as not all tickets are available at all selling points. If you have a Salzburg card, that is already your bus ticket. Otherwise, two most commonly used tickets are single ride and 24 hour ticket. Single ride ticket can only be purchased on the bus or at tobacconi shops in packs of 5 where they cost 1.9 euro per ticket or 9.5 euro per pack. Single ride purchased from the driver will be more pricey at 2.9 euro. It's easier to buy 24 hour ticket as it's also available at ticket vending machines via internet or smartphone app. 24 hour bus ticket is valid from the time of its first use. If you buy it from the driver, 
it will cost you 6.2 euro, while bought in advance it costs only 4.2 euro. If you visit Salzburg Fortress with a funicular, like most visitors do, then you have two options regarding your ticket. The basic ticket gives you ride with a funicular and limited access around the fortress, while all-inclusive ticket gives you access to all parts of the fortress. The basic ticket costs 12 euro and 90 cents, while all-inclusive ticket costs 16 euros and 30 cents. Ticket to see the Helbrum Palace and its trick fountains costs 13 euros and 50 cents. If you want to visit Archbishop's Palace, known as the Residence, you must visit Dom Quartier Museum, which combines the residence area and the cathedral area. The ticket costs 13 euros. I've already mentioned Salzburg Card, a special tourist card that includes free admission to 26 tourist attractions and museums, free use of public transportation and offers additional discounts for other Salzburg events. But is it a good deal? In general, if you plan to visit three or more of the 26 included attractions, it makes sense to get one. For example, two most popular tourist attractions, Salzburg Fortress and Mozart's Birthplace, almost cover the entire value of the cheapest Salzburg ticket. If you plan to spend two or three days in Salzburg, you should definitely get Salzburg card as you will have enough time to use it well. There are three Salzburg cards available. 24 hour, 48 hour and 72 hour card. These three cards are further separated into summer and winter season. 24 hour winter card is 26 euro while summer version costs 29 euro. 48 hour card costs 34 euro in winter and 38 euro in summer and 72 hour card costs 39 euro in winter and 44 euro in summer. Salzburg card is available at hotel receptions, at all tourist information offices, various ticket offices and at the airport. You can also buy it online and use it immediately on your smartphone. Salzburg has the oldest restaurant in Europe where you can attend special Mozart dinner concert that starts at 69 euro for a standard menu or from 118 euro for a gourmet menu. If you want more casual dinner, it's easy to find a good restaurant in the old town. In the summer, I would advise you to book a table outside as charming pedestrian old town creates a very pleasant atmosphere. If you want to learn more about best food and desserts in Salzburg, check my video in the top corner. As tourism plays a big role in Salzburg economy, pandemic has influenced prices in restaurants, for accommodations, tours and similar services. Based on the latest prices, I will place Salzburg on a scale of 1 to 10, when 1 means crazy cheap and 10 means crazy expensive. Salzburg sits on number 8, meaning it is still an expensive destination, but keep in mind that in pre-pandemic times it would be rated at 9 due to its geographical position with strong nearby German and local Austrian economy and strong domestic European tourist base. I expect it's not going to be too long before prices reach their pre-pandemic levels. If you want to learn more about top 10 attractions in Salzburg, check my video in the top corner. If you have any questions or even your own experience about Salzburg prices, share it in the comments below. If you like this video, give us thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit notification bell so you won't miss my future travel videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.